Welcome back to Kenji's Cocktail Kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to look at a recap of the past couple of sessions and then really dive in to something that fascinates me in terms of connections of the cocktails. Uh, my name is Kenji uh, from Nomu Konso. No, Nomu means drink in Japanese or the art of drinking. Uh, I'm here thanks uh, to my good friends at Monin, a real family company, uh, and using their syrups and purees and wonderful paragon, which I'll start off with uh, in my gimlet. Uh, so I'm going to be making up to six different drinks, uh, depending on how time goes and we come along to it. So a little recap of my previous session before I dive into this week's um, elements of uh, cocktail families and how they're linked, just one ingredient kind of linking, uh, changing one cocktail to another just by changing one ingredient. So we're going to be looking at mint and cucumber and how we can make lots of different variants uh, starting off. So this week's uh, session, I, as I said, going to be looking at how uh, we change from one drink to another. So we're going to be starting with the very basics. We're going to be looking at a gimlet. Uh, so I've got my, my gin, and obviously uh, it's traditionally made with roses and lime cordial. I'm going to switch it up uh, and use Paragon. For those that know me, I've really started working with Paragon since January. Three variants. I really love uh, it's, a, it's a luxury cordial, basically. So you do get that lovely sweet and sour. The sweetness uh, from Monin's fantastic history uh, of sugar uh, and the sour from gluconic acid that Alex Cretana uh, discovered in the flavors of the mock uh, honey uh, in, in Cameroon and then get the super extraction CO2 to get the individual flavors of different peppers uh, in there. So there's Timor berry, rue berry, and I'm gonna be using uh, the flagship, the white penja to create uh, my gimlet. I'm then going to add a little bit of soda to it uh, to make a, a ricky, uh, which is the same as a Collins, but using lime uh, instead of lemon. I'm gonna be adding some mint uh, to create a south side. If we then add uh, some ginger beer, the south side becomes uh, a ginger and mule, uh, but without the ginger beer, if we use cucumber, we create an east side. So lots of little steps creating fantastic drinks uh, that you can experiment with. So first of all, a gimlet, and a Ricky uh, in there. So I'm going to shake this up. I'm going to do two of these. So four parts of gin using Tanqueray number 10. It's got a history of uh, Diageo's reserve. And then the wonderful Paragon, one part for each. So two parts of that. And that's it. I'm gonna shake that up. I'm gonna use a dehydrated lime lime and a garnish. Wrong glass. sounds that come back from sitting in a cocktail bar. Lovely. As I said, these are dehydrated lime, which I actually got from a, a cocktail box set uh, from Marion Bucket's uh, Gibson Cocktail NHS service. I would have a look at that. It's great. I'm just going to put these over here. So I've got a, um, a gimlet. So I've used Tanqueray 10 uh, and Paragon's White Penja Pepper cordial. Exactly the same, but I'm going to add soda. So I said if that was lemon, be a Collins, there's lime, it's a Ricky.
nice. Mmm. Long, refreshing, tasty, very unique flavors uh, of the Paragon, especially the white penja. Um, you'll see when you taste it, uh, you get that lovely elements coming through. Uh, the gluconic acid really makes a, a difference in, in, in mouth texture and flavor. Uh, so there we have the Gimlet and the Ricky. So I'm gonna take exactly the same drink. This time, instead of using the cordial, I will use lime. Fresh lime. And syrup. So, exactly the same. One, two. I'm gonna use fresh lime. Hope you're all doing well out there. in the fresh lime. Uh, so thinking about uh, which syrup to use, obviously mine's got a huge range of flavors. I'm gonna go classic, uh, create that balance, or you can use elderflower, which I love as well. This time we're gonna add some mint. So, so far, didn't feel like enough. It's exactly the same in terms of the lime instead of the pepper, cordial. We're going to add the mint. Give that a good shake. So south side. Double strain. Get the colour in all the bits. I'm also gonna do the same thing. since all the multitasking. Huge respect to all the bartenders that remember all the drinks doing multiple orders at the same time. Let's get a couple of coasters for these bad guys. So there we have uh, Southside, Tanqueray 10, Monin, Fresh Lime uh, and Mint. Same drink, but we're gonna add ginger beer. Creates ordinary Saunders from PU Club's Gin Gin Mule. Gimlet, uh, we added a little bit of soda to the Gimlet, made a Ricky or a Collins. We used the lime, we added the mint to it, created a south side, very crisp, lovely in this heat, very refreshing. And then we added ginger beer to create a ginger meal. I would normally use elderflower uh, syrup in that one. I wanted to make it at the, the same time to bring out some of those elderflower notes. Lovely floral. Do love elderflower. Okay, uh, lastly, I thought it was a good opportunity to bring out some of my vintage shakers. I don't think I've ever used this one before. So 
with lots of ice. Chilling down my glass. So we're going to go back to the south side. Uh, the gin, melon, cane, sugar, syrup, the lime, and the mint. I'm not going to add the, uh, the ginger beer. We're going to add cucumber uh, instead and create an east side. Two parts. Thank you. Syrup, got a range of syrups to flavor. Choose from which one shall I go with for the south, mm, for the east side. Uh, I do like my falernum. Um, so falernum, lovely spicy flavors coming through. Lime, balance it out. My mint. I prepped up uh, my cucumber. You can mud all the cucumber and the mint together, but if you shake well enough, uh, you should get all the flavors coming through. Just gonna rinse off my double strainer. Big and heavy. Why not get those shakers off your shelves? Use it. That's what they're for, eh? Make some noise. So it does seem to leak a little. So there we have five. Mm. The east side, you get those lovely herbal flavors, the mint and the cucumber, but you get the spice from the falernum as well. So just to recap, recap the recap, still nice and cold, which is great. The gimlet, very simple. You get the, the lovely flavors of the gin, uh, but then the Paragon, the unique flavors of the Paragon really shining through. My Ricky and Collins. Good in this heat. Uh, Southside, Tanqueray, Monon's cane sugar, fresh lime juice, mint, ginger and mule. Taking the, the Southside, added ginger beer to it. Great. And then taking the Southside, uh, added uh, the cucumber, uh, to create, uh, but a useful learning in there as well. So you can see how just taking one ingredient, taking a, a very basic spirit, sweet and sour, just changing one thing, adding soda or adding mint or adding ginger beer or uh, adding cucumber can take you down a, a family or a chain of cocktails uh, that you might not have seen the connection before. It's great to think about how one links to another uh, and think about their, their families um, or the relatives at least uh, between there. So that's it for this week's Co Kenji's Cocktail Kitchen. So thanks for watching. See you soon.